More than 49,000 students ride the bus daily in an average school year in Duval County, but this coming semester will be anything but average. One of the district's bus contractors will have new safety protocols in place. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean joins us tonight. And Joe, we're now just two weeks away from Duval County's first day of classes. We are, and as we speak, the local union of bus drivers is still working out a deal with the local bus companies. And as you said, Mary, one of which, one of those companies is boosting its own safety rules. Student Transportation of America is one of two bus companies that contracts with Duval County Public Schools and this week announced its drivers will be directed to follow some robust safety guidelines. All drivers will have to wear masks while on duty, regularly clean the vehicles throughout the day, and load students from the back of the bus to the front. Those students will also have assigned seating under the rules and family members will be seated together. The company's vice president for the Southeast region said STA is following the guidance of the CDC and of local health officials, as well as, quote, working closely with Duval County Public Schools to ensure their specific needs are met. Guidance from this approach has framed the policies, procedures, and protocols that we are now implementing to protect the health of our workforce and customers. One of Bonnie Anderson's two children is in a Duval County charter school. The other, she said, will be taking the bus. So given the circumstances and the requests of parents and some teachers, some teachers actually want to go back. I think they're doing the best they can. Anderson and says she's confident in the safety measures put in place. I'm actually glad that they're taking hand washing and, you know, covering your coughs and keeping sick kids home. Um, with this all going on, I'm glad to see they're actually going to sanitize more. Bus drivers will also have extra masks provided by the school district to hand out to any student that forgot to bring their own. With just two weeks left until the first day of classes in Duval County, Teamsters Local 512 has yet to strike a deal with STA and Durham School Services, with the main sticking point being the working conditions for drivers. The new STA rules also say that any more extensive safety regulations that the district puts in place will be followed by the company's drivers. And Duval County parents, remember, you have to register your student if you plan to have them take the school bus. We have a link to the instructions on how to sign up on our website, newsforjacks.com. Mary. Thank you, Joe. And next week, our live Facing the Fault virtual town hall will focus on Clay County Schools with Superintendent David Broski, Transportation Director Darrell Sweat, the county's health director Heather Huffman, and Victoria Kidwell, president of the Clay County Education Association. It's Thursday, August 13th at 11 a.m. You need to be a News 4 Jax insider to ask a question. To sign up for your free account, just go to newsforjax.com and click on the blue insider button in the top right corner of our website. And in case you missed it, you can also watch the town halls we held with Duval and St. John's County leaders.